Fair and Wisdom Bassi Drive, Chima Inyaso is a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. But he wants President Muhammadu Buhari to contest the 2019 presidential election, provided he is fit to run. What is your take on the incessant ings in the country? It is not pleasant at all, but it is something that can be handled if the authorities want to be sincere. Do you have an idea of how the security situation can be better handled? I am not a security personnel but I know that there are provisions to checkmate such things. That is why I said if they want to be sincere, it will trickle down from the top to the bottom. If those at the top do what they are supposed to do, then the ones under them at the lower level will also do what they are supposed to do. Then we'll see results. Do you support IBB's view on having more youths in politics? I don't know if he categorically said the older ones should be out of leadership, he tagged them, digital leaders. If you say digital leaders, then there are some elders that are versatile in the digital world, you cannot categorize them as persons that are not IT compliant, because even in America, you see 80 and 70 years old using computer and engaging in social media activities and all of that. The problem I see is illiteracy, when people lack the knowledge, not just about politics or digital, what you don't know, you don't know and you cannot give what you don't have. I will not say that all the elders should leave politics, no, because we as young people also need to support the elders to support us and we need them to encourage us and back us up. I think what we should be talking about is inclusion. We are supposed to be part of the system, governance, policy making and leadership. This is because we are the ones that are being led, you cannot tell me what is good for me. If I have a headache, you cannot give me medication for stomach pain but until I tell you I have a headache, you will not know what to prescribe for me. If I am part of the leadership, I don't need you to give me Panadol. I will take Panadol myself, do you support the re-election bid of President Muhammadu Buhari? It is his right to contest to run for the election, but like I said, I will not support my father at that age to contest election. This is because he has to go for rallies, and that means he has to visit the 36 states. If he is strong enough to do that, it is his right, so I cannot tell him not to do that because he knows his health condition and capacity. So, if his capacity can carry him, all is well and good, but if I only have one vote just like Abba Sanjo said, I will vote the candidate that is most qualified. And the candidate must convince me, and the only way the candidate can convince me is through his record, his business record and what we see during the campaign process. We'll see what the candidate will do, what he will say and what he has done. Where should the support of the Igbo go in 2019? The same thing I said before, it has to do with all regions, not just the southeast but also in the north and southwest if they want to be fair to themselves, the Igbo should come together and unite as one, the Hausa people should as well come together as one, the Yoruba people should do the same and together in unity, we should choose who will represent us in politics, you don't take decision based on sentiment because we have been bought over, we should be honest and do the right thing. It is about time we do the right thing so that this country can attain greater heights, but they have been busy going round in circles and that is why I am interested in seeing young people come on board. What is your take on the proposed cattle colony? The other day I was coming back from Abuja, a friend of mine and I were discussing and he was saying he was going to miss the 10 o'clock news, I said, no. You are going to watch the cattle, each time you tune to your television, it is cattle you see everywhere, so, where did this come from and how did we get there, before you start talking about cattle colony? That should be the question we should be asking ourselves, how did cattle now become news? Something we eat, if we are able to answer that question, then we are getting closer to a solution. I don't know, but we have to look inward and know exactly what the problems are, where we got it wrong, if cattle are our problems, then we should settle the cattle and let the cattle be, and if we are the problem, we should settle ourselves. But I can never be a party to making the cattle more important than a human being.